Welcome to the Sound Off Show. The passing of King Von in Atlanta. Let's talk about it. A 26-year-old rising rap rapper from Chicago was involved in an altercation that ultimately led to his demise in Atlanta. It has been reported that Von was one of three people mortally wounded in the altercation. I want to send my condolences out to the families who have to deal with the loss of their loved ones due to this altercation. King Von was just the latest artist from Chicago to be slain. The other noticeable artist was FBG Duck who was slain just three months ago in an upscale section of Chicago known as the Gold Coast. In 2014, King Von and Big Mike, an associate of his, were charged with murder and two attempts to murder. Be incarcerated for three years fighting the case Ultimately, King Von was acquitted due to witnesses not wanting to show up and his co-defendant changing his statement. After being acquitted, King Von would go on to do interviews describing what his life like during that time fighting the case. He also recorded a song describing details of the case and there was a mention in the song of a witness being killed. Fast forward to 2019, King Von will be charged again with attempted murder alongside his friend, Little Dirk. That case is pending. Now it has been reported that King Von was involved in another altercation at a nightclub where he lost his life. Very tragic, but not surprising at all. Seeing how Little Von's lyrics and drill music as a art and a culture glorifies violence. Now I understand that there are going to be people that won't like this video due to what I'm saying. And that's fine, but it still has to be said. King Von was no angel and drill music is trash, not conducive in any way to the betterment of our community at all. In my opinion, it actually reinforces the negative stereotypes that are associated with the black and brown community. In my opinion, these artists are selling out their community and selling their souls for the allure of fame and fortune. And anyone supporting the drill music and culture to me is also a sellout and a part of the problem and a enemy to the community. So I was really disturbed to hear that LeBron James and his son were fans of Vaughn's music, the music that glorifies violence Black on black crime, black hate, black on black hate. They enjoy listening to that music. Don't get me wrong, I, I, I'm a fan of LeBron James and his son. I, I'm truly a fan. I can't agree with LeBron on that one. I, I can't, I, I don't allow my son to listen to that type of music or those artists. And I don't listen to it. And LeBron as a public figure ought to be conscious about openly saying he supports the drill scene knowing what it glorifies. To me, that is counterintuitive to the Black Lives Matter movement. So I'm just not in agreement with that at all. At some point as a people, we, we just have to do better and want better and truly understand that we cannot no longer glorify violence in our community or society. We all understand that the biggest contributor of death amongst black males in the black community or other black males, not the police. Y yes, they do. Yes, the police are guilty of, of some of the, the coonery that goes on, but most of it's black on black crime. So when are we gonna stop faking the funk on this and really facing the real issues that plague our community and ultimately holds us back for being what we're meant to be, which is great. We see how the elections are turning out. We see Trump's on his way out the door. That's great. Okay, now what's next? As a people, where do we go from here? In no way am I judging LeBron James, King Von, or anybody in that lifestyle. My final thoughts on this is the same way, the same energy we give to speaking out against police, invasion of the black community, killing of unarmed innocent black men, just over excessive policing and police brutality as a whole and how racist the president is and just all these different things that we say that plague us outside of our community. 
we have to start addressing our community and the problems that are plaguing our community that are caused by us, by people that look just like us. We have to use that same energy to speak out against that, period. Alongside the generational wealth gap, alongside the police brutality, alongside the exploitation of the black experience by these record labels who give King Vaughn and other artists like him a platform in which they use to glorify violence and the destruction of African American communities. So parents need to be very aware of what their children are listening to. You know, there's all types of poison out here. And drill music just happens to be one of them. You don't have to take my word for it. Do your own research in the uh, drill music culture and see how many lives were lost through senseless acts of violence associated with drill music. And those are my final thoughts. So let us know what you're thinking about our sound off discussion and leave a comment. If you like the video, support the channel and press subscribe and give the video a thumbs up.